Hello and welcome back and colour me intrigued another piece of hardware was revealed at that Synology event. This is the DVA1622, a two bay to join the DVA series. For those that aren't aware, Synology's range of surveillance solutions has been remarkably diverse over the years. Let's be honest, there's been a bunch of surveillance applications, that would be Eddie on Skype, ignore him. Um, there's been a bunch of surveillance solutions ranging from the VH series, the little compact ones, to, uh, you know, the NVR series, which was always, always quite intriguing, but incredibly underpowered. And then you had the DVA oh, kind of beast series that used deep video analysis for AIs to actually, you know, real-time analyze recorded footage for people, for things, for movement, and more. But it's always been a bit pie in the sky for a lot of SMB and kind of home users that look at the DVA series and go, cool idea, what do you mean two grand? That's what I mean, it's quite crazy. It's a great feature, but not something that most people could get behind. Now, a lot of the coverage in the Synology's uh, 2022 and beyond event um, covers a lot of SRM, in, um, sorry, uh, surveillance station 9.0 improvements for next year. And I'm going to go into a lot more detail on those in their own dedicated video and the whole event summary in the next 12 to 24 hours. But I really want to focus on this bit of hardware because this device here, the 1622, is a two bay that's going to support DVA. Now, it's not going to be a cheap two-bay, let's be honest, but it's going to be a two-bay NAS solution that looks incredibly similar to that of the um, DS720 chassis there. But this two-bay, although there's no mention of the CPU or anything like that, there must be some element of either GPU support or maybe the Google Coral uh, M2 there. It's going to support up to 16 cameras and two simultaneous AI supported tasks. So that means that much like the DVAs could support four to six um, of those services. So again, that is people, lines, counting, um, facial recognition, that sort of thing. This is all going to be integrated into that. Now, there's no mention of how many camera licenses are included. That really was a kind of a, ooh, a pause moment for me there. But this is still a great way for finally a lot of people that buy Synology solutions for the surveillance capabilities can get on board with the DVA stuff and not have to buy these 1500 two grand boxes. Now, another really cool feature about this that wasn't, it was kind of mentioned, but during the actual presentation, a little bit more on one of the dedicated standalone videos is the fact that it's 4K HDMI out and HDMI, um, sorry, H.265 supported there. Now, this is a big, big deal and something I have complained and wanted and wanted and wanted for a long time. Synology had, and sort of still had, uh, has standalone KVM solutions, keyboard, video, mouse. Now, when they were available, they only ever seemed to equip this feature on really underpowered devices, like crazy underpowered, the NVR uh, 1219 and these VH systems. Now, when the DVA, um, the previous two, uh, the current and the previous generation of the DVA 3219 uh, and the 3221 arrived on the scene, they had a GPU card inside and an HDMI in on that GPU card, which they then covered and disabled. So, I remember on both of my reviews of those devices, I got really wound up at the fact that they completely decided against the KVM setup there, something that I know a lot of serious surveillance users who will use network access really, really want. You want standalone in case there's network problems or there's remote access problems. That's where a lot of that out-of-band uh, out management that Synology are talking about really did stand out. So again, this two bay having HDMI and therefore, although they don't uh, out and out say it, KVM support is a big, big deal to me because KVM and AI support are an incredibly impressive mix and something that should come hand in hand and finally we're seeing it on this system and of course when this arrives it's almost certainly going to arrive at the same time as the full rollout of surveillance station 9 and again I will go into a lot of detail about monitor center about the improved um, kind of UI there the application improvements as well and how it integrates into with a dual recording with C2 and that's going to be its own video coming soon but I really wanted to talk about the hardware because I know that's what a lot of you guys look for on this channel but stay tuned there's more coming from this event and again I just wanted to really get the hardware out the way early doors before we get into the nitty gritty of the C2 stuff and the services and the improvements but and of course the SM7.1 uh, thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this remember subscribe click the bell to be notified as more videos on this are by not just by me but by others as well thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video